now as we created the main shape let's work on the edges so we can get these three edges we need a smooth edge here we need this exact edge and we need this curved edge so let me first change the position of this point uh, oops i need to change the view i need to go to left view so i can work only on the x and y axis this edge will go exactly the same position of this edge and then I will make it smaller and instead of using chamfer so we don't need to have a new edge we can make a good use of what we already have make them as close as you can okay i will continue doing this until i finish this edge and i will come back to you so as you can see these two edges became close to each other so they can give me the uh, creased edge I need now I need to work in this edge and this too I need to make this edge let me go to edge mode double click this edge and I need to make it smaller and I need to select both oops, both of these edges and go to front view push them back maybe more okay now uh, I need to make this one smaller and push it back okay the last step will be for this edge it needs to take the same shape of the uh, this object that lies behind it so we press f3 so we can see through we go to edge mode and now let me take these two rows three rows actually not two and push them so they can meet this point right here and let me move the position of these so they can follow the line this line it won't be perfect so do your best but don't bother yourself if, if it's not perfect I need to take maybe control Z and take these two rows And I think this row too, uh, it's a column actually, not row, sorry. I need to take them and push them this way. Uh, let me use Alt, like we always do, and push more. and maybe this group needs to go oops these two groups or these three groups not, not much just a little okay 
so now let me get back to what we were doing uh, I need to take this edge this point I mean this vertex push it down if you got the point I need to make the outer edge parallel to the uh, object the other object so as I did before I will pause and finish the remaining edge and come back to you so now as you can see we have the outer edge going with the uh, other object edge except for this part I can adjust it for the other object the second edge gives me the shape the third edge and the fourth edge are very close to each other and gives me this shape now I need to make this area close so we need to go to front view so we can see that all vertices are taking the same position now I need to do some modification here in the uh, left view I need to make these I need to take these vertices of this edge close to this one I may need to get back to shaded mode so I can see better this two I need to get some alignment in this area too many edges here okay so this is this edge I, I can go to edge mode this edge I don't need to work with it and this second edge yeah this one I need to fix this one so I need to take these two let me get back to the image I want this to go beyond and take this direction so from here they will separate at this point and start to enlarge the space between them here 
here uh, they can go this way and this I can put it here I need it as close to this as possible so right here yeah that's what I expected I need to push them later on this direction but let me fix or not fix actually let me make them aligned to each other this and this it will be fixed or take a better shape after we move them back now I need to make this go beyond to the back not much and yeah this way still you need to make this pointy so this this oops and this mm. and here I can push this close to this edge and then it will be relaxed so now they are separated starting from here and then they gather again at this point maybe we can take some space right here too let me check oops and this too okay so I need to push this part let's make this too I need to push this area right here so it can take this shape look at this so it can goes beyond so what we can do to do it uh, we do it in the front view of course and we select this corner of point go to front view and we simply uh, maybe we need to do it all together from here and then we release group by group and also here so keep up with me at this point because it's gonna be a bit tricky what we're gonna do we're gonna push maybe this group too push all this part at the front view okay so let's push it that much now I deselect using alt these two points get back to front view push again deselect these two F to go to front view and push deselect I hope you got the idea and push 
deselect these two from view push deselect and what's left for me I go to front view push this group until I finally have this point and I push it back so that's what we get maybe you need to adjust few points like this point and this needs to be pushed forward if you imagine with me what we need to have here we need to have a curve at this view I'm doing it with you step by step I won't pause the value I can do it of course while pausing the value but I want to do it with you I need to have a curve a very smart and accurate curve at this point so that's what we get we got this curve starting from here reaching down here maybe this group needs to be pushed as well but not much okay and this point and every time you need to push them back make sure you are working in the front view same will be here I need to adjust this curve and I think I have a vertex here let me press F3 yeah this one I need to push it forward and because of its position it affected other points I press F3 again that's it so now we got the shape the basic shape maybe we can adjust some positions of these points but if you got the idea that's what we need we need this curve to go fat and then thick uh, uh, thin sorry this needs to go forward yeah like this so in the next tutorial we will turn this surface into something like this surface something like a ball okay and we will use a uh, sort of selection mode to do this so keep up with me